This is Brent coming at you with more power exercise. I'm excited to get the tire flip as one of our videos. We're going to go over all of the cues to make sure that you guys get the most explosiveness and power you can possibly get out of this movement pattern. I have the powerhouse Kamal, personal trainer at the gym I'm at here, Hype Gym. He's going to do the tire flip and I'm glad it's him and not me because this is a very heavy tire. Thank you for coming in, man. All right, so let's talk about form, guys. Now, you already know form. We've talked about this in every video. It is the kinetic chain checkpoints. Some special things about the tire flip. Kamal's got to be able to get his hands between his feet, which means he's going to be slightly wider than hip width. That is something to think about. The other thing to think about is this is on the floor, which means not only does somebody have to be able to do a squat well, but they have to be so cleaned up from a movement impairment perspective. They have to have so much of their corrective exercise done that they can go through a deep squat without any compensation. So Kamal here is going to just kind of demonstrate real quick. He's going to go down. We are going to see a little bit more of an excessive forward lean here. That's okay, guys, because of the way you have to line up with a tire. But you do notice Kamal's getting some good dorsiflexion here. His feet, knees, and hips are in almost alignment. He's slightly wider than hip width to get his hands in there. So we have as perfect form as we can get here. Notice his back is nice and straight. You guys know this stuff. His scapula are down. He's ready to pull back and retract. All right, so this is really, really great form. You guys need to check this before you get started. Now, let's talk about the first mistake I see with a tire flip. Most people would start from right there. Although Kamal and I know better, we know about this amortization phase, right? The whole point of power exercise is to be able to take that eccentric load, that stretching of all of these connective tissues, right? We want to use that elastic force to contribute to our concentric phase. The amortization phase of a tire flip is at the bottom. I don't want Kamal to get down here and pause. I want him to bounce and explode. There's place he should spend the least amount of time is actually at the bottom of this movement. So what Kamal and I have been talking about this for the last few minutes, what he's found most comfortable for himself is he gets down, sets up his hands because the treads aren't even on this tire. He sets up his hands, he gets himself all squared up, and then he actually likes to stand all the way back up. Now you guys can either stand all the way back up or start from an athletic position, that's okay too. But once he's there, he's now going to try to bounce and think about this as a clean. He's going to bounce and clean this tire. You ready? Yep. Let's see it. Boom! Kamal is such a powerful individual. I wish I had power like that. But, all right, they say those who can't teach. So, Kamal's going to do this again. I want you guys to focus on the next point in our little power training video here, which is he went from a clean to a push. All right, so watch when Kamal does this. This is two movement patterns you guys actually know probably pretty well already if you've been doing power training. He's gonna come clean, and then he's gonna act like he's almost doing a, a, a medicine ball chest pass, right? He's gonna thrust from his back leg and just push the tire over as hard as he possibly can. Boom! A lot of power. Now, let me talk about one other thing that I, I see, should have spoke about a little bit earlier. What I don't like to see with a tire flip, guys, is I see some people, they do this and then they put the knee in and then they flip their hands around. We're not doing this as a max strength exercise. We are doing this as one of those like max strength slash power exercises in the same family of exercises that the Olympic lifts fall. So notice Kamal is doing this in two very clean, explosive motions. When he could no longer do this explosively, that would actually be the end of his set. If I'm training him for explosiveness and power, as soon as he starts to slow down, it's actually set over. This is one of the reasons why I don't like to set distances for tires. I don't actually necessarily set reps either. I might just watch Kamal be timing him, and as soon as I see any decrease in speed from him, sets over. If that's at five reps, great. If that's at 10 reps, great. I'm not going to let him go on to 20 reps. Obviously, if that's the case, then we probably need a heavier tire or we need to talk about a different technique to progress this so that we keep increasing his power. And if he can't even get one off explosively, we need to lighten the tire. But watch Kamal one more time here. 
He's gonna have nice perfect form, amortization phase at the bottom, right? So he's gonna set himself up, he's gonna stand back up. He knows where he's at. Explode, boom. Oh, let's try one more time. All right, it happens guys. Sometimes you miss the treads, you know. Good. Boom, boom. And that was a great rep. Come on, go ahead and do it again, let's see it. All right, notice this time it's a clean. He's pushing through his arms. He's not using his arms to lift it. Just transferring the force in his lower body. Ready, boom, boom, right? This is big lower body exercise. One more time, come on, I know you got it in you. Let's see this. Look at the push, look at how stable he is. Look at how he drives through his back leg. Boom, boom. Very nice. Guys, I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you picked up a lot of tips. I hope you have a lot of fun with these tire flips. I know Kamal has gotten a lot of power from them. Thank you so much for coming out, man. I hope you guys enjoy the video.